Yeah, probably the fact that every successful person has had major setbacks. You just, as a as a person on the outside, only see the magazine cover. You only see the eventual radio program, right? There are no, there's no such thing as overnight success. All of these overnight successes are doing just what you did. They started at age 23 and they put themselves out there and they created a, a podcast like your own. And then you see them when they're on the cover of Fortune or you see them on the Today Show. So I think recognizing that every CEO, every athlete, every celebrity, every business leader, you know, even the minor success that I've had. I mean, I'm launching my first book right now. Mm -hmm. I've got three books in the pipeline. You know, in four years, I might be the next, you know, host of a major TV program, or I might be completely irrelevant. You know, it's right. just it's it's just recognizing that the only way to create significant success is trial and error. Pick yourself back up, dust yourself off. Don't be mesmerized by what the successful person looks like at the end of the road because their journey was fraught with no's, no's, no thank yous, people not taking their phone call. Mm -hmm. And if you want it hard enough, you got to keep your eye on the prize. And, and you got to not be intimidated by people's criticism. There is a cultural phenomenon that the Australians call it cutting down the high poppy. And I guess a poppy is like a plant and... Any, anyone that grows high, the others, you know, people tend to cut it down. And I think there's some sadness in that people tend to be jealous of other successful, effective people. And you have to be fairly adept at taking the feedback that's helpful and internalizing it and disregarding what's not. I mean, the vitriol that's out there on my Facebook and LinkedIn pages. And I mean, it's amazing. People comment on my glasses and my hair and <laughs> and, and, and I'll tape, I tape a video every day with an insight that people will say to me, have you ever even had a leadership job? Uh, yeah, I've like hired 200 people and I've fired probably 50 people. And so you just got to have a good sense of self-confidence. You have to never let it impact your self-esteem. And you have to know that your self-worth is God-given. No one can impact your self-worth and just keep plowing through.